Hi and welcome to another video in the series where we show you how to drive growth and competitive advantage using digital marketing at each stage of the customer conversion journey. In this video we're going to look at the convert stage. We're going to look at a conversion tracking update in Google Ads that when configured correctly can drive more high value conversions from the channel. Okay. Let's dive in. So earlier in the year, Google announced several updates to their ads platform. One of these updates was conversion action sets. To fully grasp the benefits of conversion action sets and how they work, it's best to first clarify how Google treats conversions. When you set up a Google Ads account, you always want to set up conversion tracking. And yes, that's so that you can monitor the performance and, and success of your campaign, but it's also to give you data points to optimize towards, both for the human and for the algorithm. If you like most businesses, you've got multiple conversion touch points that should be tracked. For example, contact us page, get a quote, book a demo or free trial, sign up, sale, calls, live chat. You might also have different conversion types for different services that are worth different amounts to your business. To further add to the list of conversion touch points, you might also track softer conversions such as opt-ins, downloads or video views. Tracking multiple conversion touch points like this is a good thing. It gives you a more complete picture of the performance of the channel and the behaviour of the people visiting your site. The thing that you need to be aware of is the default setting in Google. Google uses all of the conversion touch points that you assign at the account level and applies them to all of your campaigns. You might not think that's an issue because you want to report on them all, right? But chances are you're using a smart bidding strategy. Or if not, there's a high chance that you will be at some point in the future. With smart bidding, you select a bid strategy that the Google algorithm optimizes towards to try and improve the performance of the account. So this could be maximize conversions, target CPA, or target return on ad spend and enhanced CPC where Google will increase bids when it thinks the person is gonna convert is also included in this. So with the default setting, Google will use all of the conversion touch points and treat them all and optimize towards them all equally. The problem is they're not all worth the same to your business. So for example, let's say your campaign generates 10 conversions. Great, or is it? Let's say signups are the one that you want to optimize towards and out of the 10 conversions, only two are signups. Three are contact page inquiries, two are calls, and three are live chat. If your primary conversion is signups and only two out of the 10 conversions are actually signups, your campaign might be underperforming. Google, however, is treating them equally and trying to spend budget equally to get more of all of these conversion types. I'm willing to bet that most of you don't want to try just as hard and spend just as much to generate live chat inquiries as you do signups, am I right? So what do you do? How do you get the Google algorithm to optimize more towards the valuable types of conversions that you want to generate more of for your business? Enter conversion action sets. Version action set allows you to group together two or more conversions in the conversion action set. You can then assign the conversion action set to specific campaigns. This means that the, the campaign optimizes and reports on the specific conversions you added to the conversion action set instead of all conversions equally as per the default setting. So for example, you might group your highest value main conversions in the conversion action set and call it tier one. You might group the conversions that are softer and earlier in the customer conversion journey into a conversion action set and call it tier two. You could then assign the tier one conversion action set to the campaigns targeting people ready to sign up and the tier two conversion action set to campaigns targeting people earlier in the customer conversion journey, uh, such as generic search campaigns or display. The result of doing this should drive more of the right type of conversions at the right stage of the customer conversion journey and in doing so, give you a competitive advantage against others who are yet to implement and take advantage of this feature. So to create a conversion action set, navigate to campaign settings and click the conversion dropdown. So in the dropdown, change it from the account level setting to choose conversion actions for this campaign and select conversion action. Choose which conversions to add to the set, give it a name and you've got yourself a conversion action set. Alternatively, you can head to the main conversion settings page and create a conversion action set from there. So go to tools and settings, measurement, conversions and create a conversion action set from here. 
Just be aware if you do that, you still need to go into the campaign settings and uh, change the setting at, at the campaign level. So to summarize the three main takeaways from this video, we looked at how Google Ads treats all conversions equally under the default settings, what conversion action sets are and how to set them up, how to use conversion action sets to improve the performance of your campaigns across the entire customer conversion journey. So next steps, review your campaigns and settings and have a look if there's any opportunity to use conversion action sets to improve the performance of your campaigns. And that wraps up this video. So as always, if you've got any questions, uh, send them in and we're always happy to help. Um, we're always open to suggestions. So if you've got any topic that you'd like to see us covered in a future video, uh, feel free to send it in and we'll see what we can do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of when the next video is available. Other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy your day.